Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your Astro Flower reading. Uh, this is going to be a reading for the week, the 13th through to the 20th. Uh, we're going to do it in two parts because I'd like to do uh, uh, allow the Astro Flower to sort of give uh, a bit of clarification on the cards, and that's going to be in part one. So that's going to be concerned with your elements and your qualities and stuff like that. If you want to know about the Astro Flower, and if you want to see a copy of your flower, there will be a link in the description below. So you can go and click on that and it'll help you to understand what these elements and qualities and how they are affecting your cards as we're going through it. There will be a second part to this video, uh, which will be coming up uh, probably a day later after this come this one comes out. And that's where we're going to be qualified uh, at clarifying with the little travel pack. OK, so. Let's see what's going on uh, with you in this uh, coming week. Uh, Seven of Pentacles on the spiritual path. What you're nurturing. Ah, decisions to be made at the moment, Sagittarius, hey? Eh? There's obviously decisions that are coming up. That's very interesting. And, you know, I think you're the second... Sign to get the world in the third sign to get the world in exactly the same position. They want to come out together, which is great. Love that. That looks really nice. Obviously, these decisions that have got to be made could really produce some real beautiful stuff for you guys. Ah, well, yeah. Well, there's always maybe a little bit to carrying too much, eh? Lovers. And we're in. And we're in, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Valentine's week. Yeah, gee whiz, memory like a fish. Oh, you're the second, you're the second, uh, second sign to have the three of swords in that position there. Wondering that's where I'm from. I think that's from carrying too much. And the knight of wands in the middle. And looking overall, let's just see. Let's see what's going on here. Give ourselves a bit of space, I think. So this is petals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Spiritual um, uh, universe influence on your karmic path, your karmic paths, your guides influence on your karmic path, your guides influence upon your good selves. That conversation with it is within. This is a bit of your here and now of how you're interacting with the outside world. And this is what's inside you that wants to come out. Okay. So, um, yeah, on the spiritual sort of sun, the front, front, uh, you have uh, the seven of pentacles. Nurturing. At the base of your petals, you have the air and water. And this is an earth sign, of course, because you can see all the things underneath. What you're missing here is the passion. And that is coming in from above with your own fire. Here is sort of giving you clarity of thought, of nurturing the ideas of emotions. That's what it's all about. It's nurturing the, the, the universe is trying to give you... Sorry, wrong camera. <laughs> The universe is trying to give you, um, it's trying to sort of say to you, see that little thought there that just came in about one situation, a person, or how you feel <coughs> about life. <coughs> How's your emotions according to what you do in your pastimes and stuff like that. Now let that grow. And see how it fits with your emotions. And, you know, you might turn around and sort of say, you know, I like cooking. Should I go on a cooking weekend? And, you know, it's that idea that you like cooking. It's starting from that premise there. If you do that, you could build up a lot of passion. And what your guides up here are trying to tell you is sort of saying, if you do do that and you follow that path there, that's... You know, we'll read this in several ways, but this could be for quite a few of you. You know, um, you'll realise that you're actually carrying too much. 
you may not be able to go as fast as you want to go. And I think that may cause you a bit of heartache because it's obviously decisions to be made. And your karmic path down here, you're supposed to be making decisions. You're supposed to be investing in things that give you good returns in an emotional or spiritual sort of sense. So it could be, because um, you've got two earth cards at the base here and they're both to do with money and stuff like that, usually that sort of thing, material sort of wealth, but it's on your spiritual front. So it's basically what are you doing uh, spiritually, you know, that actually gives you a sense of reward in your physical life. So let's just say uh, you are said to yourself, I'm going to be positive about everything and I'm going to try and push that law of attraction sort of idea. And you push it and it's now sort of saying, you know, what are the returns? What's, what's working, what's not working? And that is what that 10 of ones is all about you've gone through that journey you've come to the you're coming to the end of that journey and it's now time to release your burdens of what you've been carrying through all of that understanding so you can lighten your load and the only reason we lighten our load don't be fooled the only reason we lighten our load so we can refill it up you know what i mean we only empty that donkey in order to recharge it you know so let's be honest with ourselves and uh, it's possible for you to sort of move on. Now, this could be for others, right? Because you've got that fixed on that card there on your on your on your flower. You've got fixed air and fixed water, so it's very defined. So I've one camera again it's very defined about your ideas and your emotions. This is, this is, you know, nurturing that thought and defining it. That is your, what you should be doing this week. Being conscious of the thoughts you have, not necessarily acting upon it, but certainly defining them and defining what is good and what is bad for you. Okay. Your guides are bringing in that fire, your fire. Yeah, ace of wands, really happy, explosive, uh, innocent, fun sort of ideas. Starting that journey of discovery. It's like a kid at Christmas. Yeah. But also you have the four of uh, four of wands, which is very stable. Something it's about celebration. Uh, they're celebrating on that. So. Uh, you know, some people equate it with marriage and stuff like that. So it might be a case of ideas coming in which may affect your marriage, your couple or something like that. It might be for some of you. And that might be releasing of the burden, you know, which could cause you that heartache. So it could be for some of you that you're throwing in the towel. You know, or the pair of you are throwing in the towel. It could be a case of uh, with that passion and new love. Or someone you meet that you kind of go, oh, that, they, I would just love to be with them. They would be a great partner for me. You know, that's what you could be saying to yourself. But as you step into that arena, you're going to realise you're carrying a bit too much weight. And you're carrying a bit too much, yeah, sort of luggage, baggage. And if you're carrying a bit too much baggage, you might miss the opportunity and it might cause you heartache. So I think the most important card on this spiritual side is really the Ten of Wands. It'd be interesting to see what the cards come up with on that. Because this is Petal 5. This is where your guides are trying to orchestrate your karmic path around you. And at the top there, you've got that fixed air that goes out there and your uh, mutable fire that goes around it. At the base of it, you've got mutable uh, water and fixed air, so then that fixed that you get that double fixed air that goes like that, which creates that mental protection that you know that Sagittarius can very well have in emotional relationships, you know. And I think that it's 
there's a lot of socialising going on there, I think. And it's realising that I can't really be free and socialise freely uh, because I'm carrying too much. And that could be that mental side which is blocking you a bit. And sometimes we can, the reason it blocks is because our expectations are just too much. We're expecting too much out of the situation. We stick up too many barriers or boundaries for people to cross over to get towards, get to you. And I think that fire is going to, you know, it's going to consume and it's going to, after that, you have, uh, you, you know, you have fixed earth, uh, fixed water, so it goes round you like that. And that's protecting your inner being emotionally. But it doesn't seem to want to be protected anymore. You want to get out there. You want to get involved. And I think this is more disappointment in yourself than anything else. It could be splitting up a two couple, you know, a couple and stuff like that. But I think it's more to do with you and disappointment within yourself that you, you haven't had so much fun in life and maybe you should be having a bit more. And letting it, letting your hair down, you know, or letting your hair up, as if you look at the case of ones, you know. So interesting. Now I think after that, on this side, on the on this cups, on this uh, nine of uh, cups, ten of wands. Where did I get the nine of cups from? That's obviously going to come. Uh, hey, it'd be interesting if the nine of cups comes out on here. Yeah. Okay. This is like it's like a gift in a way. Yeah. Okay, so that's what it is. The Ten of Wands, it's like a gift for you. Because it's making you realise what you're carrying, which is not really serving you. So, you know, it's like a gift from the universe, that. So you've got this sort of cardinal earth that's coming in, so it's making it feel even more heavier than it should be. And then you've got that fixed air and fixed water at its base. So cardinal earth that goes over the top your fire there which is a constant passion and at the surface you know uh, you know Sagittarius are usually very 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 sort of passionate constantly on the surface always on the go and stuff like that but there the base it's not the case you've got a lot more water and a lot more air in fact in these three petals that's all you have so you think a lot, Sagittarius. You really do think a lot. And maybe that overthinking has created that, that, that sort of baggage that you don't need anymore. So you've got to free, your, you've got to free yourself up and allow your inner being out to come and play. And I think maybe it's meeting that someone, that's what all... Creating a situation, that's what your guides are trying to do. So in this week, you might have a situation turn out and go, oh, that was a bit of a surprise. Not really. Your guides have been working on it. And it helped you to let your hair down. Okay? So on the physical side, it's on this side. We still have the um, water and air, but this is cardinal. The air is coming out, out of you. So that, that all of those ideas that you, you really do enjoy and you really do invigorates you, uh, Sagittarius. But you have that earth turning into water, which comes from your neighbour, Capricorn. And they bring in very practical things as well. So it's a bit of a bit of a toss and turning over, you know, between the excitement of wanting to do those ideas and uh, the practicality of things of actually doing those ideas. But it's also going to bring emotions to you. And those emotions with that fixed uh, cardinal water at the base will really sort of, you get that momentum of that anti-clockwise direction, which is inspiring and goes up. And that's why it's, you are normally emotionally and mentally inspiring to yourself and allow yourself to be that mental and emotional insp inspiration of that world, that new journey. On the outside, you have the petal four, you have mutable air which is you and mutable earth so it is marrying air and earth which don't really mix so you know the universe is trying to help you marry both ends 
And it's making that decisions to marry both ends so you can let go of that baggage that you've been carrying. If you do, you can start that journey, which is, you know, it's, the world is the end of a journey, but if, if it's the end of something, it's the start of something else. And it's the start of something else is actually working with other people with that three of pentacles. You've got quality work within you. You've got those capacities, but now it's a case of putting it into grouping with other people. And I think, although this is the lover's card, I don't think this is tied to one other person. Could well be, because it will, could well be tied up to this sort of thing. Here, this transition between the two. Wondering if the lovers would come up there or the nine of cups, that's what we said earlier on. But the, you have these lovers' cards, and I think it's, the, you know, your guides are trying to help you to fall in love with what you do and to love the environment that it creates and the people that are around you. And I think that's where your passion is really going to come out more than anything else. It might take you this, this week to let go of that baggage emotionally. And then in week uh, between the 20th of uh, February to the 27th, that's when you can let go of that that three of hearts and sort of say goodbye to an old situation or an old way of living or whatever. And you can move on to something that is a lot more enjoyable, but it's going to, on the emotional side, it's going to take a bit of work, but on the physical side, it's, this is where you're going to let your hair down. And I think this coming from this side, because you've got that fire on the outside there, and then you've got that water, uh, that water that sort of that comes around you like that, but that air as well, it's sucking that passion into your on your spiritual side, which is igniting that that knight of wands in the middle of you, which is helping you to in get in touch with the universe and your guides so they actually create a situation which pulls you completely in this direction here. Yeah. Shall we cheat a bit? Shall we? And just see what this is pulling in this direction. This is a real gamble. Do you want to gamble? If you don't, turn off now. Yeah? If you do want to gamble, let's do it, okay? Let's see what comes out for you in the following week after this. If this is putting it all through. Judgment. The liberation of yourself. The ascension of yourself from the physical to the um, spiritual. The unifying of the body, mind and soul, exactly what's coming out of what the universe is trying to encourage you to do. Lovely, lovely, nice. Like it, like it. So there you go. Next week, um, if you keep your eye on Cymatic TV, we will give you regular updates on how the energy is coming in from the sun and from the planets and see how it affects your elements and your qualities in this reading. So you can actually judge that passion coming in from the outside and keep it ahead of the curve as it were okay uh so but if not don't forget there will be part two of this and it will be pinned somewhere down below uh and uh we will see you soon don't forget to subscribe click that bell and all that and don't forget last of all it should be fun so please do enjoy